Myself, what did you think about your performance today? Thank you, me. I'm excited about my performance. I know it was a pretty slow time compared to people that have run long distance before and things, but it's first time, beginner, and I ran slash jogged. I ran slash jogged. I would say 75% of it. Maybe 70%. I don't know. But uh, I kind of survived once I got to about that 15 mile mark where I was pretty much running the whole way there to that point. It definitely slowed down and I had definite doubts of finishing. I had thoughts in my mind, oh, I'm, not, I'm probably going to call it Uber. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, though, overall. I stayed hydrated, had some energy chews, granola bars, had a Snickers bar for some energy. I don't know if that's a great thing to have when running or not, but it seemed to work for me. And I finished it. I don't like the hill going up there at the end, but I like that hill normally, but not today. Pretty slow time. I'm excited to get first place, which I know also happens to be last place, but I don't care. I think I'll uh, put my medal up somewhere for everyone to see. I got first place in... My own quarantine marathon, 2020. Yeah. Oh and let's do it again sometime. Oh, Talk goodness. to you later. Thanks again, me. Oh, my oh, God. To interrupt me, just had one more thing. Sunscreen. Oh, I should have brought it. Like I said, I run three to four times a week, short distance. Three to five-ish miles. I'll put sunscreen on when it's sunny and things, but uh, doing this long distance running, I just totally wasn't even thinking about it. I should have bought some at Walmart or the gas station I stopped at, but definitely paying for it now. So, sunscreen. It probably isn't even nearly as cold as a regular ice bath. All I got is a couple ice packs, but it's kind of cold. Oh, fun day, fun day. Really adjusting now, feels pretty good actually. I think I might do it for like a half an hour. I don't know. <laughs> oh, probably crack into that. At first, when I got in here, I was like thinking I was gonna, you know, drink celebrate, you know, celebratory sparkling water. But it was too cold, so I was like, heck no. <laughs> and now, now, the body's adjusted pretty good. And I probably should have maybe put some more ice packs in here. I don't know. Um, does anybody know, is it okay to take a hot shower? Because I need a shower for the day. Um, after this, or should I take a cold shower? I don't want to take a cold shower, though. <laughs> okay. Bye. You know, probably not the most post-long-run dinner. Hey, you know, I got some veggies. Got some more veggies. Balance it out, you know. <laughs> oh, it's time to devour this thing. Talk to you later. What's up? What's up? I wish I would have brought the GoPro. Had it on the whole time yesterday during my little adventure. Just thought I'd run, uh, drive around, kind of highlight it, document it, journal it. Most of my my quarantine marathon route started right about here yeah, right about here and then uh start a lot of runs and stuff uh just going down this this, uh, this hill here this i don't even pull out my phone i think until nearly halfway through and, and that's when things got fun <laughs> so yeah so i started down there and then i took a left onto the road down here
once you get past that, I mean, I just started, I mean, I'm not for speed or anything like that. I'm definitely not trained to build up to, I mean, yesterday was six and a half hours. Uh, the first half was like two hours, and yeah, and then after that, it was uh, pretty slow. But uh, yeah, I got to this point here, I took a left. But I found after you get past, like, you know, that first three to four mile point, and you're kind of feeling a little tired, uh, once you get into that mode, once you kind of push back past that, and, you know, your body seems adjusted and uh, stretched out, and then you kind of cruise. Over here, just it's probably get three to four miles until the next turn. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty smooth selling right here. I think I probably about about up to three to three and a half mile mark or so. Yeah, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> time to or actually I parked here a few times but I can run down from my apartment it's about two miles to the hooks up to the summer link rail or whatever or a summer link trail it's a nice trail it goes about five miles into summer I biked it and ran it a couple times so I'm not gonna be able to drive it uh, but I can Go to a few different points of it. So here's part of the trail. It's probably uh, parked right over there. It's, it's nice and shady. There's the bridge down that way. And then you run down that way. It's about a mile. Maybe a mile in, but uh, there's another part that I'll drive to. But I'm walking pretty good right now, actually. So yeah, we'll we'll head to that next part. This is probably about the mile, getting close to the mile and a half mark of this trail. But, uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful day out here. Gorgeous day. Yeah, it's the river. Uh, it's about the two and a half mile mark or so of this trail. Stopped at this 
gas station right here to the left. A quick five minute pit stop, got another water. Snickers bar and sat down for a few minutes. This is, I think this was near the 17 mile mark. And uh, 16 mile, so somewhere in the 16 and a half mile, 17 mile mark. Starting to fill. I can't run at all anymore. It's pretty much from this point on, I uh, jogged it back, sped, sped walked it. And a lot of walking <laughs> from this point on. But. Catch you after the U turn. Great day to be outside. So, yeah, I'll just take a quick left here into the park. So I didn't run all the way around the park, uh, just ran on the left hand path. There it is, baby. There it is. Oh, I love it when Mount Rainier's out like that. complex at this point I think it was about 24.5 miles I finished up doing a couple loops around the complex uh, but I went down here to you know, went straight across and, uh, went down this way here right to the stoplight <laughs> Yet I took another right here, then I went down to that hill um, by you know to go up to my apartment that I started at. Well, oh, what the heck, I'll go down there again because I got a little special surprise for you. <laughs> I'm talking about 
best views out there lake taps washington right here near my apartment i'm not supposed to be parking there so i gotta go here soon but just a little special surprise on a beautiful day here in the pacific northwest doesn't get better than that folks <laughs>